Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we're going to be checking out some more mods that have to do more with like career and jobs for your Sims 4 game. I thought that these would be super helpful for someone who does like to add a little bit more careers in the game because sometimes it can get a little boring playing with the same careers in The Sims. But here are some more mods to kind of make your gameplay a little bit more exciting with your Sims careers. So let's get into it. All right, we are in game. And for those of you wondering the house so that if you wanted to download it, let me pull up the gallery. This is the house that I downloaded. Here is the origin ID and the name of it. So should be able to download it. But going on to more important business, it is the mods. So this one is is not really a career one, but I just thought it was cool. And it's essentially a phone override for, you know, your phone in The Sims. I know there's a lot of other like overrides for The Sims, but I like this one a lot because it still has the icons, but it at least tells you like what it is. And like, you can kind of, you know, go from there. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But this does take us into one of our other mods, which is, if you recall a little bit ago, I did a mod review on SimU by Midnight Tech. So this allows you to take like online skill classes for your Sims. This one is base game compatible. So you're able to, you know, go to these classes, get some skills. But the other one that she released was for an online schooling for Discover University that your Sims are able to partake in, which you can take online through the SimU panel on the computer. So you can apply to SimU online degrees or take some online skill classes as well. We're gonna go ahead and hit apply. Um, this does count as a career because, you know, once you get your degree, you'll be able to go off to a, you know, career in college is very much like, you know, a job. So that's why I included this in there. But the good thing is, is it's not as expensive as university in The Sims, depending on, you know, what you're doing um, and what type of mods you play with. But essentially here, you can pick the different, you know, classes. Again, with your Sim being, like depending on their skill levels I think you should get distinguished degrees in here but the nice thing is it'll tell you you know exactly what branch of careers that the degrees coincide with so I, I think I might just put her in um maybe we could do like economics or something like that so she can maybe go into the business career and now it pops up with this little window saying her sim registration completed sim you thanks you for your prompt course payment we are delighted to offer you acceptance onto our online degree program. So we will click that little check mark. And now that she's in to SimU University or Sim University, you can start your economics coursework for your Sims and she'll also get like skill levels from that. I just downloaded this Sim, so she's got nothing. But I will say it does make it 10 times easier, you know, to have your Sims go into school and you can have more storylines with your Sims being able to actually take their coursework back home and she can also go in like chat rooms with other students and stuff like that which is pretty cool and she can also through her phone find a study group but you probably should download the sim u skill but you need to download also xml injector in order for it to pop up on the phone and stuff like that so that's the first mod not sure how long it's going to take her to complete the coursework. I'm kind of curious, so I'm actually going to let this play through and then come back and let you know. I also wanted to point out that a great thing about the SimU online degrees is that your Sims are actually able to still do a full-time job and learn at the same time. So you can still be making money while getting another, you know, degree or getting a degree. And you can also still get the jump career benefits with this model as well. I know some people like the jump careers in the um, Sims world. Some people don't. I personally love the jump careers because if you're going to spend that much time in university, you should be able to start at a higher level in the Sims. But yeah, I think essentially once you complete this, you know, interaction, you should get your degree. I'm actually really curious. So I'm going to sit here and wait to show you guys what happens when it's done. But your Sims are able to take it at their own pace and um, yeah, I guess we'll just, I'll just sit here and then I'll come back and let you know what happened. Okay, she's coming close to the end of the 
like actual interaction for her economics degree. But I did want to show you that she did level up a lot in like certain skills, like the research, logic, and charisma. So that's been a plus. She should be done. You are not, you are feeling very ambitious, Yvette. She's so close to being done. I want to see what happens. Okay, she should be, she's got to be wrapping up. Also, it's been about two days in The Sims. So if you just want to have your Sims, there we go. She graduated. So it is that full interaction thing. So you're able to do it however you please. But it did take us, you know, quite a while. It's now 8.33 p.m. on a Tuesday. And I think we started in the early morning on Sunday. But now, Sim, you graduate. Congratulations. We have earned the degree for her, you know, economics degree. So we should also get the graduation portrait right there. She looks so stoic. And then if we, oh, I'm in a wall. If we go over here, we should get the degree as well. It looks so cute. Okay, we got the degree, we got the portrait. So now she's able to join the workforce. And here are a couple more mods that I pulled together. So I guess the next thing to do is to actually join a career. Now, still speaking on Midnight Tech, she's got a all-in-one folder, or you can download them separately. The all-in-one folder does cost money um, to get all of them, but if you wanted to download one at a time, you could do that. But it basically adds in a whole lot more careers, mainly right the whole careers for your sims but if we look down here you can see all of these new careers for your sims even though it's rabbit hole careers it's still fun to be able to have more like storylines and careers that your sims can go into i believe with the um mod that we covered a while ago the custom degrees by zeros actually has some degrees that coincide with these careers as well i'm pretty sure so I just figured it's cool to show off. You guys are able to have a lot more careers in your game now to be able to mess around with and create more storylines for your Sims. So that was one of them. But there was, and then you have this nine to five career pack as well. So you can start off at like the beginning and be able to actually choose your career. So if I go to this trainee thing and I just hit, you know, the check mark button, she's now in this, you know, nine to five career. But if I click on it and I just promote her to branch selection, she has all these careers that she can choose from as well. And they're all nine to fives. So I guess I could probably do something within the economics degree that we got. Maybe like a general manager. Click on that. So this kind of brings me to my next point. And if you have the mod, this is by Jane Simstein. I'm sure most people know what I'm talking about. Let's say she wants to change her her work schedule in The Sims, she can do that now. If you go into business, you should see where it says ask to change work schedule. If I click on this, if you get off of your computer, Yvette, you're able to change your, you know, Sims schedule. So if I go up here and click general manager, because that's the career she's in, it takes a minute. Sometimes, here we go. I can change it to either full-time or part-time, but let's just say she wants to do part-time. Once we click part-time, then this will come up for the choose time of day you can choose morning afternoon and night let's just say the morning so that she can get it out of the way it does take a minute to load for the questionnaires so you can then choose to hit monday through friday or saturday to sunday i think we'll just do monday to friday that's how our schedule is now and you can choose a two hour or four hour shift and i'm just going to click four hours and then the reason i kept this bar up is it should change once we click the time. So we can either work from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. or 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Now you can change this at any time. So if you're like, I don't want my sim working at 7 a.m., you can go back and change it. But now it changes back on this clock as well to show the updated time. But if after all of that, I'm like, I actually don't want to continue on that work schedule. I can return to company hours. And after she types that in, it should go back to the nine to five. So I thought that was really cool. I love playing with this mod because sometimes I just want my Sims to have like, you know, a five day work week instead of like the two or three when you get up to like those super, you know, high levels for your jobs in the Sims. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But let's have her quit this job 
because there is another mod as well and it's by Midnight Tech again and it is the Saturday job pack. So on Saturdays your sims are able to go and do some Saturday jobs. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to Saturday. Okay so the Saturday job pack is for both adults and teens so I do really like that because it gives teens an ability to make some extra cash. So here we can see the Saturday job packs and that's what you want to join in to and basically we we need to now fill out the questionnaire thing. So I'm pretty sure you go back to careers and then it should be fill in the skills questionnaire. And then from there, once your sim does that, they'll be able to, you know, move on. Okay, so now that we finish this, it brings up this window, which is these are the jobs that we can do. So maybe, you know, my sim wanted to be a stable hand. It's $17 an hour from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And again, it's only on Saturday. So she'll work on Saturdays from those days. And you can also, I'm pretty sure, get a promotion with this as well. So let's say she was able to actually work up to level four. She would then get $38 an hour on that Saturday. So, but you can also set over max with UI cheats and stuff. So they could make bank really in reality. But the next thing that I did want to show you is by Maya Games. And this is one of my favorite mods that I like to play with because we all know The Sims and sometimes you don't get enough money from your careers and it can be annoying because sometimes careers don't really pay well in the beginning but you gotta wait till like the end but some people don't want to wait for that and i get that this mod is called money up and it basically changes the like starting salaries for the sims you'll see here that it says 52 dollars an hour i know this was not 52 dollars an hour as an intern but that's the whole point of it is your money goes up in the name of it for the mod. You'll see the athlete here is $32 an hour. I would say this probably works for more of the Sims game, like the Sims careers and not really Midnight Text because Midnight Text is a mod and not really a, um, cause this is like an override for the starting salaries for the Sims careers. So with Midnight Tech, you'll probably have to use UI cheats to, you know, get more you know, money for the salary. But if we go back like for business, $42 an hour, like you can go through all of these and just see that it is increasingly increasing the starting salary, which is nice. And it does it for the entire career. So I did wanna show you guys something. If I clicked on like the doctor career because that one is active and you know, it's a pretty cool, I like the doctor career in The Sims. It's $36 an hour and I can click on this. Yeah, we are going to change. We should have just gotten a medical degree really. But if I go up here and let's just say she's made it to chief of staff, it's now $560 an hour, which is definitely a lot more than they were making beforehand. And if I wanted to go back and use my mod that I was showing you guys about the change work schedule, my sim is able to do that. And now she can work five days a week because we've got this mod that allows that. So I'll click full time, we'll do morning, Monday through Friday, we'll do an eight hour shift, we'll do nine to five. And now it's changed so that my sim is able to work five days a week and making $560 an hour, which is actually insane but probably well-deserved because the Sims don't live for that long, so they need to make bank. But anyways, this is, this wraps up our mod review today. Hopefully you found some new things for your Sims to help enhance your game when it comes to careers and jobs. I definitely love to play with all of these just because they add so much into the game. But I did want to give a quick shout out. We recently hit our, you know, hit a milestone of 900 subscribers. I think that's at 905 right now. So we have 95 followers until 1000, which is still crazy to me. So if you want to go hit that subscribe button and join in and join in on all the fun we're having on this channel with, with mod reviews, let's plays, and many more different things that we do on this, on this channel. But with that, thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you on Wednesday for our Black Widow challenge because things are spicing up over there. We are almost, you know, done with the challenge and it's kind of bittersweet. But anyways, I'll see you all on Wednesday. Mm -hmm.